what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this video so first and foremost i want to say up front if you hear some wind in the background i can't control it it's windy as hell here for some reason but i will do the best that i can to minimize the wind sound in the back all right so guys i got a very disturbing text message and it comes from a conversation that i had with my plug a couple of weeks ago in regards to mr c now for those of us who came up in the late 80s and 90s and that were a part of the hip-hop culture we are definitely familiar with mr c mr c was a legendary dj for big daddy kane that's how he got his start and that's how he came to become a very substantial part of hip-hop and mr c was very vital in discovering who biggie smalls was and he helped produce biggie smalls first album ready to die now dj mr c had a significant role on one of the hottest stations in new york and in my opinion it was the hottest called hot 97 and all of the new yorkers know what dj mr c brought to the table he brought education about the hip-hop game he could blend mixes like no other this brother was definitely talented, right? Now, Mr. C also had his own session on LL Cool J's Rock the Bells on Sirius XM, and that was dope as hell too. But unfortunately, that all ended on yesterday because Mr. C unfortunately passed away. Now, what's interesting about this dynamic is that me and my plug was having a conversation about Mr. C a couple of weeks ago because my plug was the one that tipped me off to the fact that Mr. C was actually, and I'm gonna say allegedly here, working with the feds in New York City, basically because he had some information in regards to Diddy. And so now all of a sudden he passes away. Now, before we go any further, I'm not sitting up here saying that Diddy had anything to do with the passing of Mr. C. It could have been a plethora of things. It could have been a medical emergency that unfortunately took Mr. C out of here. So let me just get that out of the way right now. But what I am saying, and according to my plug, that a lot of people, a lot of hip hop pioneers in the game are looking at Diddy with a raised eyebrow. And we're gonna get into that information pretty soon now before we go any further i want to encourage you guys to give me a follow on instagram at carolina crush tv just in case something happens here now what i want to do right here is go ahead and play you this update in regards to diddy and rodney jones has communicated to a judge that he has more incriminating evidence against diddy and more audio and then immediately following that there are going to be a couple of videos of people paying homage to dj mr c and then i'm going to come on and read this explosive text message so sit tight and i'll see you soon Hey peoples, it is time for your Diddy News update. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Little Rob breaks silence, tells Judge he has recordings of Diddy admitting to more crimes. Now I think Little Rob got tired of sitting on the bench and Blackburn f***ed it up, so he had to step in and do something. And he's done it in a declaration, baby. That means it's been filed in court. Now I'm guessing Little Rod has audio because baby he's stating he has firsthand knowledge and evidence of Combs' illicit actions including physical assault, tax evasion, wait bruh, tax evasion, and more disturbing X acts of women. He also shared that he would get things done by force. This included record deals, signatures on contracts with XX, <laughs> XX, y'all know what XX means, from women and men. <laughs> I be reading it, but I be reading it with y'all for real, for real. As well as women of his enemies. Who you been messing with? Jones also recounts Cones admitting to involving Jennifer Lopez in potentially illegal activities, leveraging his position to have Shine take the fall for the nightclub Pow Pow in return for a record deal with Arista Con L.A. Reed. Yeah, I just read that with y'all. Ooh, you in trouble. But baby, it's not like it's not already been stated. On page 30 of the new amended lawsuit, line 147, according to Mr. Jones, Diddy shared that at the time, his girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, a.k.a. J-Lo, carried the arm into the club for him and passed him the pow pow after he got into an altercation with another individual. Line 148, according to a civil complaint filed by Cassie Ventura during their decade-long relationship, Mr. Combs demanded that Ms. Ventura also carry in her purse just to make her uncomfortable and demonstrate how dangerous he is. Are you kidding me? I might have to break this into two parts. Did it and brought Johnny Cochran into this shit. He bragged about departed attorney Johnny Cochran's savvy legal skills and ability to pay off witnesses through private investigators and other third parties Jones claimed. 
Now you putting dirt on his name, bruh. Diddy saying this is how he avoided a lot of conviction. Hell, some stuff may not even been brought to court. Jones also claimed that Diddy recounted a time where he aggressively handled record executive Steve Stout over a business dispute over Nas' Hate Me Now video. The assault left Stout with a broken jaw and arm. Now I look for this. I couldn't find this anywhere. I guess Diddy got that taken care of too? I don't know. It seems like Diddy bragged about it. B bragged about hitting him over the head with a bottle and a chair and also someone else in a nightclub. Didi also bragged about avoiding taxes and moving his money across the seas in Germany so he could avoid anything and everything. People can't track money if he's paying off people if his money's in Germany. And everybody in the music industry did it. <laughs> Through shell companies and strategic movement and accounts overseas. If this is true, this is some illegal sh**. Oh, did he make it my head hurt because if all this is true right now it's alleged this boy got more than one or two counts coming at his ass. and like I said it before I think the reason little Rod stepped up and wanted to make a declaration is because Blackburn is taking so much heat right now but I'm gonna do part two later on because part two is a lot of gossip but it's still funny hey we just learned today that hip-hop lost the real one one of our pioneers rest in peace to dj mr c c first you know got his notoriety djing for big daddy kane in the 80s and through the 90s c was also very instrumental thanks to 50 grand c was instrumental in helping us bring us the notorious big he helped worked on the demo you know obviously big got in the source and then signed to puff daddy and bad boy records c was instrumental in making that link and helping to bring B.I.G.'s career. You know, I, I remember C the most for um, his show, The Old School at Noon, back when he was on Hot 97. That show was so important because for an hour a day, it taught us about the history of hip hop. It definitely taught me a lot listening to Mr. C DJ songs from the early days of hip hop, learning where samples came from, certain rhymes and interpolations came from, just learning how our culture evolved. Also, on a personal note, man, shout out to C. I won my first Xbox. I was working in the mailroom at the time and they he asked a trivia question. He always used to ask a trivia question that he'd do giveaways like tickets or whatever. And one day they was giving away an Xbox. And I forgot the exact question, but it was a Roots trivia question. And I got the question right. Went to Hot 97 and picked up my Xbox. So shout to C, man. But I'm going to miss you, man. You contributed a lot. Super important legacy in hip hop. So thank you for all that you've given us, man. Rest in peace. It's some sad news to report that New York's DJ... Mr. C reportedly unalive at the age of 57. Wow. That's a young age, man. I want to send my love and my prayers out to his family. Hello? Y'all can pause to read. So Mr. C was born Calvin LeBron on August 17, 1966. Mr. C had a story career as an American DJ broadcaster record executive and radio personality on New York's 103.9 and Hot 97. I don't know from 103.9. I don't even know what station that is, but definitely on Hot 97. He was known as the finisher. Mr. C also executive produced Biggie's 1994 debut album, Ready to Die. If you're a big hip-hop fan, you should know that already, yo. Like, hello? He most recently could be heard on Rock the Bells Radio on Sirius XM and contributing on 94.7 FM The Block. I don't know that either, but I want to say R.I.P. to Mr. C, man. And respectfully, yo, please have some respect for his family. I already know he was in the news for a bunch of other things, but we here to celebrate his life. Like, hello? At this time... I don't know the cause of death, and I did some research, and the sources don't know the cause of death, so as soon as I find out, I definitely report it, but um, one of his long uh, colleagues, Peter Rosenberg, took to Twitter with his um, heartfelt message. We have lost the iconic Mr. C. I listened to him yesterday, and I'm completely shocked. We all are shocked. He was a dear friend to all of us, a wonderful man, and one of the most important, impactful DJs of all time. I love you, C. That's a, a very, you know what I mean, heartfelt message, and it, it's very true. He played the big role, you know what I mean, in hip-hop. Like I said, he was one of the people that discovered Biggie. Leave your thoughts after seeing this video, and R.I.P. to Mr. C. 
All right, so you guys just heard that. So let me address the Rodney Jones situation and the fact that he went to the judge and basically said, hey, I got more information. I have more audio um, that's incriminating in regards to Diddy. It just sounds as though that he's losing faith in his lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn. I told you guys in my last video that Blackburn seemed to be an individual that was just trying to boost his credentials as a lawyer. And so anytime you have a lawyer and you just skip your lawyer and take the information straight to the judge, it just speaks volumes in regards to how Rodney feels about his lawyer at this present time. Because when you have a history like Tyrone Blackburn does, where he goes out and files all of these lawsuits against people without doing his due diligence and the fact that he doesn't obtain the credible and factual information to present a case, it looks like Rodney Jones isn't credible. And that's on Rodney because he should have did his research in regards to how Tyrone Blackburn moves before he obtained him as a lawyer. Now, as it pertains to Johnny Cochran, I've heard in the past several times that Johnny was a permanent doorstopper from lawsuits being filed against certain celebrities and entertainers. Johnny was like the highly sought out lawyer that was basically playing the middleman and was negotiating these deals from victims that have been violated by these certain celebrities and things of that nature. So basically, I mean, is it true? Is it factual? I don't know, I wasn't there, but I've heard it time and time again in the past that Johnny definitely played the middleman and he saved a lot of people's careers because he was negotiating these deals behind closed doors between the celebrities and the victims. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this information that I got from my plug. Now, before I get started and before I read this information, I do want to say that the information that I'm about to read to you all is all alleged. I have to protect the integrity of myself and my platform, all right? But as I always say, I do trust the information from my insider and I trust that he would not steer me in the wrong direction. All right. So it says here, yo, bro, didn't I tell you that Mr. C was one of the individuals talking to the feds in New York about Puff? Now, all of a sudden, he just passes away suddenly after doing the morning show yesterday. There are a lot of New Yorkers looking at this S with raised eyebrows like what the F? I had a conversation with a couple of our hip hop pioneers and even they find it suspicious. Blank said, and I can't say this particular name because this person is definitely a hip hop icon. But Blank said he just had a conversation with C early yesterday morning and he seemed fine. Before I get ahead of myself because I'm juiced the F up about this because we hadn't too long spoke on this. But let me say no one is saying that Puff is responsible for this, but they aren't taking any of the possibilities off the freaking table. It's important that people know that Mr. C knew some heavy information as it pertains to Puff and it's no telling what he was going to expose to the feds because C has been extremely salty about the deletion of Big and he knew that low vibration bottom feeding clown was responsible for it. I know it was my decision that suggested you didn't put that C info out at the time it was discussed because C is my dude and I didn't want to bring any unwanted attention his way due to the fact that he was involved with talking to the feds. I'm so angry right now I should have let you run with the information. I say that respectfully so let me clarify and say I appreciate you for listening to me because you're a grown man and you can do what you want. I'm so frustrated at myself man. I feel like a bum. I need to take some time away from this puff s i just need to step away i will keep you informed once i hear something back from the family i reached out to see if they had a cause of passing definitely put this out man damn i effed up f all right so you guys just heard that like i said all this information is alleged i do trust my plug he's been in the game for quite some time and he's actually from new york so i know this brother wouldn't steer me in the wrong direction again you just never know but he seemed very very hard on himself about not allowing me to put out this information i do appreciate him for respecting me as a man because he knows i'm a man and you know basically saying hey man listen you can put the information out whether i tell you to do so or not but thank you for listening to me and things of that nature and trusting my direction so i appreciate that on his part but anyway i'm gonna draw the line here there's more that I can actually add to this, but I decided to cut it off myself because it just goes too deep, right? So anyway, just drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about the information that I provided you today. And just give me your overall thesis and analysis on everything that was discussed within this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace.